Hey everyone, back again with the next step of the Mr. Beer process. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you should because I detail every step of the process. But now what I've done, I've cleaned, uh, I've run the, uh, the sanitizing, the Mr. Beer sanitizing solution through each of these bottles. These are half liter bottles. You can check out my other video where I did that. I put it in, shook it around a little bit, and I let them sit. It said 10 minutes, but I let them sit for about 20. It's not going to hurt anything. So now the, the next, the first step of the bottling process is to dump out your, uh, your cleaning solution. Now you don't want to, uh, you don't want to rinse it. You just want to dump it out. And then once you've dumped it out of the bottle, as, as I've said previously, do not rinse. There'll be a little bit of it left in there, that's fine. And then get your Mr. Beer, and you're gonna to wanna to fill it about two inches from the top. So probably about right in there is where I'm going for. And I'm pouring it really slowly because I haven't done this yet. And I want to make sure I don't get a lot of foam. Uh, obviously, there's probably not going to be foam, but foam because this is the step of the process that will actually create the carbonation. Uh, what we have now is beer that's fermented minus the carbonation. So that's what this step will do when we bottle. I'm going to slow it down there. I'm going to fill it up about two inches from the top. Seems to be about dead on. Turn off my spigot. And now I'm going to get... Uh, one tablespoon and keep in mind I had this in the sanitizing solution you want to make every make sure that everything that's going to come in contact with your beer has been sanitized because the bacteria can distort the flavor and ruin your many days of effort, your many weeks of effort and this is just white granulated sugar one teaspoon these are half liter bottles and that, that uh, the amount of white granulated sugar will vary depending upon the bottle size. But like I said, this is a half liter. These are just the Mr. Beer bottles. So you're gonna pour that one tablespoon of sugar in there to the best of your abilities. Now you don't shake this, but what you do wanna do is put the top on, put the cap on tightly and then gently turn the bottle over and then turn the bottle back the other way. Now you're gonna sit this bottle in a, uh, in a nice climate, probably 60 or high 60s, low 70s, and it's going to need to sit in that bottle for, and I'll have to check exactly on my notes here, I think it's 14 days, let me see. It will need to sit in that bottle for, and like I said, temperature range between 68 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and allow to sit for a minimum of 14 to 21 days to allow full carbonation. And it says one sure way to know your beer is carbonated is to squeeze the bottle. If they are hard as a rock, then your beer is fully carbonated. So I'm going to set a reminder, I'm going to check it in 14 days. If it's not hard as a rock, I may let it sit up to 21. And obviously that's not in your refrigerator. Once it's been carbonated, you will then chill your beer and enjoy it at a party or whatever. So this is the bottling step. So stay tuned and check out the, uh, the finished product step. And share this video and any of my videos with others. I've got a lot of Mr. Beer and home brewing videos. Y'all have a good day.